Good morning. It is Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.etsy.com. At the start of a new vlog, it is Wednesday morning, and I'm just going to show you what I sold over the past 24 hours. All jewelry this time. It's so weird. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Three brooches. So, this is a Mexican sterling silver pendant with a tiger's eye. And, um... That sold for, I don't know, I'll tell you in a minute. Um, this is a faux damascene brooch from Spain. Very pretty one. Only $15 on that one. And let's see what else we got here. Um, so this is a Victorian brooch with a black stone. That's a really cool one. Only 24 on that one. I get some really low prices sometimes. <laughs> and then this one, little gold plated. Hold on. Oops. Um, this is a gold plated, tiny little brooch. It's so sweet. The little rose on it. It's got rose gold and yellow gold. And uh, it's made by Kremitz. It's got this tiny little mark on the stem of the pen. So sweet. And this was $24 also. And I'll just write it on the screen because I can't remember what this one is. It's a really neat modernist piece, though. Very cool. Okay. So here are a few things that I got listed yesterday. Uh, I listed this carpet bag laptop case, I guess it is. Uh, nicely made in very good condition. I think this might be... A Native American weaving rug rather than, you know, like a Turkish. But I'm not sure. I really don't know too much about rugs and things like that. But anyway, I listed it for 28 which I think is a pretty good price. Um, I listed my little Chinese emperor man. I put him on eBay because, again, the prices on these seem to be all over the place. And... Some were selling in the hundreds of dollars, and some selling more like for $50. So I put it on eBay starting it at $149, free shipping. Shipping's, you know, it's kind of heavy, so um, see how that goes. And then I sold, uh, or rather I listed a couple of rings. This is a garnet ring. It is nice hand hammered. Might be. Native American. It has like the little twisted rope that you see on Native American jewelry a lot. Um, but I, I looked and looked and I didn't really find too many rings that look like this. So I don't know. And I listed that for 47 Yeah, I think 47 And then this nice uh, turquoise and coral. Uh, this is probably a Navajo ring, and um, listed that for 48 Got a few more listings done today. Um, this, this piece, this mirror work piece from India, um, it's called Shisha, that's the name of it, I was trying to think of it the other day, um, which a couple of my alert YouTube watchers have identified this as a tea cozy. Of course, that's what it is. It goes this way. So cute. So I just listed that. Um, I believe I listed it for, I want to say, 28. Um, listed some. These are like Zuni inlaid earrings. They've got a lot of opal, turquoise, lapis. Really beautiful inlay work. And I listed those for, I think, 48. Um, a turquoise ring, some nice oxidized silver background, pretty robin's egg blue turquoise. Listed that for 47. And I listed the articulated man brooch. Had a, a couple of requests for this. Um, I have privately notified the people that were interested in it that it is now for sale. I listed him for $55, free shipping. I guess I'm going to start doing more free shipping again, at least on the 
really light things because Etsy seems to want us to do it just like eBay does. Um, they say, oh, people shopping online expect free shipping, and I guess they do. I just think it seems silly because you know it's not free. Everybody pays for shipping. Somebody pays for it anyway. Okay, moving. Depot buying paint. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. You too. Sure. All right. So look at this. Here it is, May. It's early in the morning. And it is raining. That is just lovely. There's my yard. <laughs> it's looking a little scraggly, but most of the weeds are gone. Still a few in that corner. So this is, I think, the biggest strawberry we have grown so far. Look at that puppy. <laughs> there's, there's more than normal size we get from our plants, but this one was, this one was on, I don't know, hormones or something. No, just kidding. I don't have any hormones in my strawberries. Um, yeah. So I'm still only getting one or two strawberries a day. I guess we should have planted a few more plants, but at least the ones we have are doing really well. Okay, so I was saying in my last haul video that I never have any place to wear fancy clothes, but tonight I am going to an art opening at our local museum, and there's like a cocktail party and a thing, and we're meeting some friends there, and I thought, well, that would be a fun place to wear something like silk pants, a red leather jacket maybe. Um, so I really want to wear the red leather jacket because it's kind of cold out, even though it's May. So I'm going to try and find something in this bag of clothes that were just in the recent fall videos that I can wear with a red leather jacket. So keep that thought in mind and I'll be back to show you some things I found. Okay, so here is the red leather jacket that I got at the rummer sale. And this is my first candidate. It's this, I'll turn on the light here. Goodness, it's dark. That's better. Um, this beautiful cotton print skirt. And it has a red in it that kind of matches the jacket. And I just match it with a black t-shirt underneath. And that should work, except there's just one problem. The skirt, I don't know if you can see, but it is too long. It's just pretty much dragging the floor. Now, if I were going to wear heels, that would be okay. But I am not going to wear heels, because I don't wear heels. So, I think that's not going to work. But, we'll keep looking. Okay, so I'm going to have to give up the idea of the red leather jacket for now because none of the other skirts or things really go with it. So here is my next thought. We have these silk, blue silk pants, and we have the kimono jacket that has, well, some of the embroidery is blue and it kind of matches. If you can see that, but it doesn't not match anyway. And I could probably wear a white or a black. I might even have a maroon t shirt I could wear. Yeah, that might be okay. So I'm going to try these on, but these pants may be too small. We'll have to see. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, well, the good news is that the pants actually do fit me pretty well, amazingly. Most pants no, don't fit me, so. Uh, but the bad news is I don't like this jacket. I don't like it on me. I think it would look much better on someone else. It's just, it's just too big and floppy for me. I, you know, this t-shirt is really wrinkled. So, I have this other jacket, which is, I can't figure out if it's real, I think it's real suede. Um, and it has some blue, but I don't think it matches at all, but I like the jacket, so let's see. Oops. So this is the jacket with the, um, with the funky, it's 
So Indonesian jacket with a Canadian coin closure. Very weird. But anyway, it goes something like this. Well, that doesn't look so good. But anyway, the jacket fits me really well. And I would be comfortable in this jacket. But it doesn't go with the pants. So, I guess I could wear the jacket with jeans. I don't know. These parties aren't really all that fancy. They're kind of however you want to go. Um, yeah, that's, I'm kind of running out of options here. So, let me see what else I can come up with. Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I just had to try this on. <laughs> it actually, it's a little, it's a little big for me, but, um, I would never have the nerve. But wait, we have a new contender. The red leather jacket is back, not with this t-shirt, but with this skirt. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not sure how much you can see, but um, it's the skirt with the little Chinese people on it. I think we have a winner. Uh, black t-shirt, the jacket goes with it. It's really comfortable, it fits me really well. I just need to press it, put a black t-shirt on. I think probably I'm going to wear <laughs> my black flat heel boots with this. Do something with my hair, because this is not working. And maybe we'll have a winner. So, uh, hopefully after I get it all put together, I'll uh, model the whole outfit for you. So, uh, this is the uh, complete outfit I've put together. I'm not sure it's a complete success, but uh, I did get a number of compliments on the skirt. So, what can I say? <laughs> We're here looking at the art. No, oh, you're doing it vertical. Well, you didn't fit horizontally. Okay. We're at this garage sale on our way to breakfast. Lots and lots of jewelry. Look at all this. Pretty cool. Good morning. It is Sunday morning and I am here at the flea market. But I don't know if you can tell, it is raining. Um, I'm not here as early as I normally get here because it's been raining. And I can't believe how empty this parking lot is. I've never, ever, ever seen it anywhere close to this empty. I am parked really, really close. <laughs> so, uh, I did bring a little rain jacket and an umbrella. I mean, May, May raining in Southern California is so bizarre. I guess I lived an awful lot of years in drought that, um, maybe this is not that abnormal. But, um, anyway, let's go see what we can find. All right, so here I am. As you can see, it is wet and rather sparsely populated. Just almost, <laughs> look how, I mean, all these spaces would normally be full. Uh, the rain is supposed to let up. I mean, it's not really raining right now. So <laughs> there's not a whole lot to look at right now. I'm heading for my favorite jewelry guy to see what he's got. So. My jewelry guy is here. He's got all these lovely trays. Things. Say hi, you guys. Hey. Hello. Hello. You're make us more famous. Yes. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello there. This is my new boyfriend. Love the rocks. Oh, so pretty. And then the jewelry that goes with the rocks. Ooh, look at that thing. Ooh, look at that thing. That's cool. Oh, he's awesome. People really are just now starting to get set up. So it's almost like being here early in the morning, even though I didn't get here until like 9 o'clock. So, I mean, if I found one for 20 bucks, I'd keep it. 
There's some pretty stuff. Here. Hi, Tank. Oh, I... Oh, look how smart he is. He's only 12 weeks old and he already knows how to sit. What a... Hi. Oh. <laughs> Look, just what I need. More Franciscan Coronado.